Timmy. Hey guys, Timmy here, and today we're going to take a quick look at Paladins and show you all how to extract the assets so the community can start making some great projects. Let's go. Uh, first thing I want to say is I've missed you guys. I've been away for a long time. I'm so sorry. I've been really busy in real life and trying to get some other stuff going on with my, my business. Um, but I've had a ton of people contact me recently about this. And I realized that there's nobody out there that's done any kind of guides for anyone. So I'm going to go ahead and take a minute just to show you how to do this really quick. And try not to take too much, too much of your time. So uh, let's start. First thing you need to do is download a program called UModel. I'll have a link to it in the description. And once you've got it downloaded, you will have a um, RAR file or an archive that you can extract with WinRAR or WinZip or any kind of um, archive extraction that you want to do. Uh, when you're ready to extract, what you want to do is find your high-res games folder. Uh, mine's on my separate hard drive. Yours may be on your main drive, and it's most likely located in your program files 86. Uh, then you want to find High Res Studios. Then you're going to go to High Res Games, Paladins, Chaos Game, Cooked PC Console. Now, this is the folder where you want to extract your model. Make sure you extract it into Cooked PC Console. Um, once you've got it extracted into that, go ahead and open that folder so that you can see inside of it. Now, mine's not been updated to the most recent patch. And I have some extra files in here that I was using to um, get the game sounds and stuff a while back. So try not to pay too much attention to those. But it should put, look, look pretty similar to what you've got going on. Um, what you need to, do, need to do now is find a file called startup.upk. You can either search for it over here or you can just top, uh, tap S and it will let you go through your files. Uh, I actually just recently took mine out of here already. So what you want to do is just highlight it. You can either click and drag it to a separate folder, or you can drag it to your desktop, or you can cut it and paste it to your desktop. Just make sure that you back it up somewhere that you don't lose it and that you can put it back into your game folder when you're done working with it. Okay, so now that that's out of here, uh, you're going to want to scroll down or just click on a file on top U, and it will take you to your U model program that you just extracted into this folder go ahead and double click on it um, it will automatically load the correct game path as long as it's in the correct folder if not you'll have to browse and find the correct game path um, don't click on the override game detection the engine classes to load these are just different things within the package that you could click that you wanted to load um, if you load the static meshes or the skeletal meshes without the textures you won't be able to see those textures on them or you won't be able to see the textures individually so just keep that in mind whenever you're deciding on what you want to look at um, package compression leave to auto platform leave to auto and click OK it'll go ahead and load every package that has anything inside of it and that is compatible with the settings that you chose um, so as you can see you look down through here you'll see a lot of stuff some of it is um, maps some of it is like things for the UI and different sounds different sound effects um, most of that stuff is probably not what you're looking for um, if you're looking for character specific things just look for that character's name and look for assets underscore SF that usually contains mostly of everything you want they also most uh, most characters have the lobby assets as well but that it doesn't really contain much more or if anything at all more than the the just the plain assets package so um, also keep in mind that the size of the pa the UPK obviously that means there's more in it so um, if you're looking for a lot of stuff just keep a like eye on the, on the size of each package so we're gonna go ahead and open one if you don't care about looking looking at the items inside of this package you can highlight it and you can click export and it will export everything inside of the package to a folder inside of your game folder called UModel Export. And then inside of the folder that you just exported, you can open that up and it will categorize neatly for you all the animations and the materials and the skeletal meshes and everything that you need. Um, and you should be able to work with it from there. 
if you do care about what's inside of the packages and you want to take a look at it uh, just double click on it and it will bring up this little viewer for you uh, now you can go from the very beginning I'll go ahead and tell you just to press H because H shows you all the commands page up and page down will let you scroll through each of the um, assets inside of the package these are textures materials um, stuff like that we will go ahead and see if we can get to the model um, yeah I'll say now we've gotten to the actual model of androxis here let me, I think that's the model we need to work with we'll do the headless one Let's see if it works all right so we have the model here uh, for some reason this one doesn't have the head maybe they started doing heads separately once they started doing the skins for the heads most likely that's what's going on but after you have the model selected you can actually go and look at the animations by pressing control R I think no it's actually control A and then I think it's the right bracket will actually cycle through each animation inside of the animation set that you have selected and once you have the animation you want to look at you can uh, press spacebar and it will actually play the animation for you if you want to loop uh, you press X and you can kind of just cycle through each and just you know get an idea of what they look like that way you don't waste your time extracting exporting things that you don't need um, and that's pretty much it guys hopefully I didn't take too much of your time up um, it's really really simple to do once you have those things extracted I th let's see um, what type of format they put them in I can't remember it's actually been a while um, so the animation sets are in PSA I know that you can import these into UDK with little problems um, there is some scripts and some plugins I think that you can get for 3ds max that you could also import um, the textures and the animations and the skeletal meshes these are dot PSKs for the um, for the models um, those two programs I work with UDK 3ds max I know that you can get this these assets into those programs and work with them um, I haven't worked with a ton of other programs like I think what milkshake and there's I don't know there's tons of them that I haven't really worked with but if anyone needs any help just contact me and if enough people will ask about the same thing I'll make another guide for you guys but I've been out of the community for a while and I just wanted to take a minute to show this to you guys because I know a lot of people have come into it recently and I'm so happy to see the community grow like this and I'm hoping that this helps you guys um, so just let me know if you need, need any more help at all and I appreciate you watching thank you so much have a good day